China's continuous efforts to build state-of-the-art facilities and infrastructure have been a major driving force behind its economic growth. In this video, we explore some of China's most remarkable engineering feats, from the Xiong'an Intercity Station and International Trade Center project to China's first deep-sea floating wind power platform installation offshore. These projects highlight China's technological prowess, innovative spirit, and unwavering commitment to advancing its infrastructure and economy. But before we begin, be sure to subscribe and ring the notification bell or else you will surely miss our amazing updates. So now let's get started. The Xiangnan Intercity Station and International Trade Center project is an impressive development project in China that aims to create a new economic zone and transportation hub. The station is designed to connect Beijing, Tianjin, and Hebei through a new high-speed rail line, and the International Trade Center is expected to be a hub for commerce, exhibitions, and conferences. The state-of-the-art facility boasts advanced technology, such as facial recognition and self-service ticketing, and is designed to be both efficient and aesthetically pleasing. The project is expected to drive economic growth in the area and attract new businesses and industries to the region, positioning it as a key player in the global market. The undersea road tunnel in Dalian, China is a remarkable engineering feat that has recently opened to traffic. The construction of the tunnel was a complex and challenging process, involving the use of advanced technology and specialized equipment. The tunnel is equipped with advanced safety features, such as emergency exits and ventilation systems, and is designed to withstand the harsh marine environment. The tunnel is expected to greatly improve traffic flow in the area and facilitate the development of the local economy. Overall, the undersea road tunnel in Dalian is a testament to China's technological prowess and commitment to infrastructure development. The Xiangnan Station is a crucial component of China's plan to develop a new economic zone and transportation hub that will connect Beijing, Tianjin, and Hebei. The station is strategically located at the intersection of several high-speed rail lines, making it a key transfer point for travelers. The design of the station is both functional and visually impressive, featuring a unique roof structure that resembles a flying bird. The station is equipped with advanced technology, such as facial recognition and self-service ticketing, which makes it highly efficient and user-friendly. As a transportation hub, the Xiangnan Station will play a significant role in driving economic growth in the region and positioning it as a hub for business and industry. The completion of the world's largest steel caisson for the three-in-one bridge in China was a significant milestone in the construction of the bridge. The caisson, which is a watertight structure used for the construction of underwater foundations, was an essential component of the bridge's foundation. The caisson was an impressive feat of engineering. It was built in a dry dock and then towed to the construction site, where it was precisely positioned and sunk into the water to form the foundation of the bridge. The construction of the caisson required the use of advanced technology and a high level of precision, which was achieved through careful planning and execution. In the southern Chinese province of Hainan, the construction of China's inaugural commercial aerospace launch facility is well underway. This ambitious endeavor is set to witness its initial commercial launch in the upcoming year. Commenced in July of the preceding year, the construction of two launch complexes designed for liquid rockets is nearing completion, expected to be finalized by the end of this year. The construction progress of the primary complex's fixed service structure is proceeding seamlessly.
Upon completion, this structure will serve as the central component of the launch pad, boasting 11 stories and reaching a height of 83 meters. Construction of the primary section of a 1000 kV substation has commenced in the Gansi Tibetan Autonomous Prefecture of Sichuan Province in southwest China. This UHV substation is being constructed at the highest elevation in the country, marking a significant milestone. With a capacity of 6 million kVA, it surpasses the previous altitude record for substations in China, elevating it from 1,500 meters to 3,450 meters. Upon completion, this project will enable the power grid in southwest China to increase its voltage level from 500 kV to 1,000 kV and provide an annual supply of 12 billion kilowatt hours of clean electricity. China's Water Conservancy Project in the Guangxi Zhuang Autonomous Region is an impressive illustration of the country's ability to harness its natural resources to satisfy its energy demands. By harnessing the power of the Xijiang River through the Datang Gorge Water Conservancy Project, China has already generated over 10 billion kilowatt hours of electricity since 2020. This project is capable of producing clean energy equivalent to the output of 3.09 million tons of standard coal, and it serves as a prime example of China's commitment to sustainable energy development. By exploiting the country's natural resources effectively and efficiently, China can meet its energy requirements while reducing the environmental impact of power generation. China's inaugural deep-sea floating wind power platform, called Sinuk Guanlan, has successfully laid its final submarine cables, signifying the completion of offshore installation. This project, developed and constructed by China National Offshore Oil Corporation, is remarkable as it operates in water depths exceeding 100 meters and spans over 100 kilometers offshore. Located 136 kilometers from Wenchang in Hainan, a tropical island province in southern China, the platform will soon commence operations, connecting its turbine-generated electricity to the offshore oilfield group's power grid for oil and gas production. The submarine cables utilized by Sinuk Guanlan, spanning 5,000 meters and reaching depths of up to 120 meters, consist of three 35 kV cables and three 12-core fiber optic cables. These cables are specifically designed to endure challenging marine conditions. And that ends our story for today. I hope you found this to be wonderful. And if you did, don't forget to share this with others. Thanks for watching and see you next time.